Option Care supports the nutrition needs of thousands of people every day. Sometimes a medical condition can make it so that eating and drinking aren't enough to provide the nutrition you need. When this happens, your healthcare provider may decide to give you additional nutrition support. For many patients of all ages, Option Care is the first choice of this type of care. After all, we've been providing enteral nutrition support in the home for more than 30 years. Option Care is different because we use a multidisciplinary approach to care. This means we provide a staff of registered dietitians, nurses, pharmacists, and enteral coordinators who are experienced in providing enteral nutrition in the home setting. Providing quality care and services is our primary goal. We are available to answer your questions 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Welcome to Option Care's tube feeding by pump method instructional video. The following steps will help you administer your tube feeding effectively, comfortably, and safely. First, gather your supplies and place them on a clean work surface. For your tube feeding, you will need cans or cartons of formula, Store unopened containers of formula at room temperature and in a dry location. Shake can well before opening. Clean the top of the can with a damp cloth. Once a can is opened, use immediately. Store any unused portion covered in the refrigerator for no more than 24 hours or as directed on the can carton. Syringes. Clean with warm soapy water and air dry on a paper towel between uses cup of lukewarm tap water, feeding bags if indicated, feeding pump if indicated, IV pole or backpack if indicated. Always make sure to wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water, rubbing for at least 20 seconds before beginning the tube feeding process. Ensure that you are sitting or standing in an upright position or elevate the head of your bed at least 30 to 45 degrees during and after your feeding. Place a towel in your lap in case contents spill or your formula drips during administration. If your feeding tube has a clamp, make sure it is in closed position before opening the end of your feeding tube. If there is not a clamp present, pinch the tube with your fingers to prevent leakage when opening. Now you're prepared to administer. When you have gathered your supplies, washed your hands, and are prepared to administer the tube feeding, please follow these steps for tube feeding by pump method. Begin by hanging the feeding bag set on an IV pole or alternate hook if available. Open the lid and fill the feeding bag set with desired amount prior to setting up the pump. Load the feeding set into your pump. You may use the same bag for 24 hours, after which the bag should be discarded. Turn pump on. Select Keep Settings if the desired rate was previously set or Clear Settings if rate needs to be set. To set the rate, select Adjust Feed, then Feed Rate. Use the buttons on the left to program the pump in millimeters per hour. Select Enter when desired rate is set. Press Prime Pump. Press Auto Prime to automatically prime the pump set. Press Hold to prime if you wish to top off the line. Then press Done. If instructed by your treatment team, flush your tube with water as directed. Connect the feeding set to your feeding tube. Press Run. Once the feeding is complete, press the power button to turn the pump off. 
disconnect the feeding set. and flush your tube as directed. Here are a few tips to remember. To ensure you are administering your tube feeding effectively, gather all supplies necessary before you begin your feeding. Wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water before each feeding. Drape an old towel across your lap in case of spillage during feeding. Sit in an upright position or elevate your head by at least 30 degrees during feeding administration. Make sure to properly flush your tube at a minimum after each feeding. If not directed to do so by your treatment team, please contact your Option Care representative for flushing instructions. Thank you for watching this instructional video. You have now successfully completed the process of administering your tube feeding by pump method. If you wish to learn how to administer your tube feeding by gravity bag or bolus syringe method, Option Care offers those videos as well. With each administration of tube feeding, you will get more comfortable with the supplies and the steps. Please call your healthcare provider at any sign of infection, skin problems, tube displacement, or intolerance symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, or constipation. For any questions or concerns you might have, please contact our highly trained specialty nurses who will help you understand the basics of home infusion therapy and will answer any question.